if you want to win in network marketing, you have to learn how to turn your perceived limitations into your advantages. Hey, this is Angela Carter and welcome to another episode of MLM Fast Start TV. Today's episode is for you. If you feel like right now, there are so many things that are limiting you and holding you back from having success in your home-based business, whether it's lack of resources, whether it's lack of time or lack of knowledge. If you feel like there are things right now that feels like it's out of your control, that you have a limitation on your resources, um, that there are things that you need that you don't have, and that's why it's hard, hurting you and, and, and affecting your success, this episode is for you. When I got started, those of you who don't know my story, when I got started in my current company, I was $220,000 in student loan debt. I was living at home with my mom in a one bedroom apartment. I was actually sleeping in the living room on an air mattress. And that's when where I began um, my journey and my current company that I'm in now that I've been in for over four years now. Um, and I got started. I got started because I saw the potential in this industry. I struggled previously, um, two years in the industry, um, only recruiting five people in two years. But when I had a flare up from my autoimmune disease, I ended up having to move back home with my mom to figure out what was going on health wise with me. And during that time, I was getting little small commission checks from a previous company that I was in. It was like $14 checks, $28 checks. And it was enough for me to realize like, wait a second, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I am sick and I'm still getting some some commission checks that were tiny, but there were still some checks and it helped me see, you know what, if I really go hard in this, which I didn't do in those previous two years, but if I could go hard in this, that I could maybe, maybe succeed. So I got started unemployed, but because I was living at home with a family member who was willing to say, hey, look, you can stay here, go hard, make it happen. I was able to do it. And a lot of now, if you don't have that, right? If you don't have a family member who's willing to do that, you got to get a job. You got to have some sort of financial stability in your life, where now you're not building your business with pressure. So for me, when I got started in building my business, I didn't have a paid marketing budget. I had literally, I got started with I think it was like twenty five dollars, and then um, a couple of weeks later, I bought a training course that was a hundred dollars a month, and didn't even know how I was going to pay for the next month. So when I got started in my current company, there were a lot of people who were previously very successful in home-based business and internet marketing. They had money for like paid advertising. I didn't, but I didn't use that as an excuse. I said, okay, let me find out. Let me get mentorship. Let me dig into my training that I bought and let me find out how can I use free strategies like video marketing and blogging to get my business off the ground. And I made a decision to master it because I said, you know what? I'm not quitting. I'm not quitting. I said, there will have to be either, the company will have to either shut down or uh, there will have to be some kind of like moral, unethical, shady stuff going on for me to quit. But other than that, I'm not giving myself an out. And it was the first time I ever made a decision that I was not going to give myself an out. Let me ask you a question. Have you made that sort of a promise in your company that you're in right now? Or is it always like, well, I don't really know if I should be doing this. Well, I don't know. And if you're operating your business with that sort of energy, you are at a disadvantage. That is what's holding you back. But you have to first make a decision and say, I'm not going to quit no matter what. And when you do that, you know there's no out for you. So that means when challenges come, and they will, you have to stick it out. And now there's a whole new level of thinking that you have to do that you maybe never did before because you gave yourself an out before. So for me, money seemed to be a perceived limitation for me. So instead of me saying, well, dang, man, there's no way I can compete. Dang, man, there's no way I could succeed. I chose and found mentors in the training that said, hey, you know what? They were in a previous same situation. They were able to rise to the top of a company in despite of other people in the company having paid advertising. And I did exactly what the training said to do because I didn't have time to try to figure stuff out. <laughs> I didn't have an ego of like, oh, I think I know what I'm doing. I know enough. No, it was let me figure this out because where I'm at right now in a one bedroom apartment, that's not where I'm going to stay. And I was willing to fight. I was willing to fight for that dream that I had ever since I was little to retire my mom. Who are you fighting for? Who's depending on your dream? Remember them when you feel like quitting. Remember them when you feel like turning the limitation that you feel like you have 
and, and when you feel like you might want to turn that into an excuse, think about them. So what I decided to do is I said, okay, I'm going to master videos. And that is what I did. I went from the bottom of the company <laughs> to in 2015, the top six salesperson inside of the entire company for six consecutive months with only six leads a day. Didn't do any paid advertising. But there were six quality leads from YouTube. Here's what I decided to do. I said, okay, this could be either a limitation or it's going to be my advantage. I'm going to learn how to turn these six leads and how to convert them. I'm going to be a beast. I'm going to be a master at converting these leads. So for you, for you, the takeaway from this video is what is the thing that you feel like is holding you back? Comment below. Let me know. Let's have a conversation. Let's end the excuse. Let's end the limitation. Let's in the perception that this is a limitation. Comment below this video and let me know what you think has been holding you back. What do you think you have a, not enough of? Or what do you think that you have a lack of? And I guarantee you, we're gonna find a way to turn that into an advantage. Because until you do, you will let that perceived limitation, because that's all it is, it's perception, it's how you're perceiving it. You're gonna let that hold you back and sabotage you from the success that you want, from the success that you could actually have. But because you're letting it hold you back, you haven't experienced it yet. And the way that you can turn it into advantage is, how can I still, even with this lack of or limitation of, how can I now get better at this? What skill would I have to develop and master that that would be a non-factor? So for me, it was like, okay, if I don't have a pay marketing, that means I won't have a ton of leads coming into my business every single day. Okay, so what would I have to master in order to still make money? I would have to be a master at being able to convert those leads into sales, which I did. So for you, think about this. What skill would you have? To, if you have a, limit, a limitation of time, you're like, man, I'm so busy. I have kids. I have a family. I have a full-time business. Okay. You feel like you have a limitation of time, which everybody has the same amount of time. So that's a perceived limitation. But let's say that's it. What would you have to master? How to be efficient with the time that I have. Okay, great. How are you going to master that? What books have you bought? What training have you bought in time management to help you master that? Because right now, that right there is getting in the way of your success. That right there, if your dream was to be able to stay at home with your kids, that's getting in the way. How bad you want it? You're going to let that stop you. You see, that was my mentality. That was my mindset. I'm not letting nothing stop me and get in the way of me being able to retire my mom, be able to have the financial freedom, and be able to have the impact in the lives of people that I want to have. So for you, what is that perceived limitation? What is that thing that you've been thinking has been actually holding you back when really, if you could see it as your unfair advantage, will help you skyrocket to the top? You see, my little lack of money helped me and forced me to become great at converting leads into sales. It took my whole marketing and sales game to another level because it forced me to. It forced me to raise my level of skill set. For you, what is that going to be for you? What do you have to master in order for you to turn that perceived limitation into an unfair advantage? Think about that today. Leave a comment. Let me know. What, what do you feel like is limiting you? And let's have a conversation so that now you have a plan of attack and we can turn that into an unfair advantage to you so you can go all the way to the top and inspire other people and let them know too that what they think is limiting them is actually the thing that's going to help them get to the top a lot faster. If you enjoyed today's episode of MLM Fast Start TV and you love and want more videos like this one, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want access to training that can show you how to recruit all the reps that you want inside of your home-based business, go to recruitrepsonline.com. See you in the next episode. Bye.